Hello, and welcome back to my cooking show. Today, I'm gonna be making a gingerbread house. When Big Larry came around just to put him down, SpongeBob turned into a clown, and no girl ever wants to dance with a fool who went and ripped his pants. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely real with you. I have only made a gingerbread house maybe once in my life, twice at most. So this is gonna be challenging. I got this gingerbread house for like $10, I'm pretty sure, $9.99. I had a gift card, so I was like, yo, I'm gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond, and I got this. So basically all you're gonna need is a box of a gingerbread house kit. Easy. So first you gotta open it. Ow. Okay, so what you're gonna do after you open the box is take everything out and then open it. So then, I'm pretty sure, so it comes with a decorating bag. So you drop this into your decorating bag. Is that not right? Does this come off? This comes off. Then this goes in. Then this goes back on. And then this goes on. I got it. Cool YouTubers do. So now you're gonna fold over your icing bag and then put your icing in it. I don't know what I'm doing. You can tell this is the first time I made a gingerbread house in a very long time. But they make it look so easy in the picture. That's not right. I think I'm gonna use scissors. Okay, so it's not scissors, but I got it because I couldn't find scissors. We're just gonna cut it open with this and see how it goes. There we go. And then you're gonna put your icing into your bag. Corey, can you hold my icing bag? Because I need to put the icing in it, but I don't have enough hands. Uh, they make it look so easy on the box. Thank you. Please that down. And now. Hey! Oh, get me one. We're having a war. Okay, thank you. Now back to our scheduled program. Now my icing is filled. And I don't know what I do next. They give you these, so I guess these are the walls, but they don't fit. This is the front, because look it, it has a little door and the windows. No, that's the roof. Oh, I forgot there was a roof. So I guess these are the walls. Yeah, because they have windows. I guess we need to put some of the icing in this. How does one do this? I put a little bit of icing in there. Oh, and then we're gonna put the window there. Now I know why my parents never did a gingerbread house with me. This is not fun. This is like stressful. Now we got one wall. Now we need the other wall. No. Okay, we got the, ne the, the next wall. See, it's gorgeous. Now we're gonna do the back. Okay, a little bit of that. It's all falling apart. It's all collapsing. I feel like this icing bag is just gonna pop. This is this is not staying. So now I'm putting the roof on or I'm going to attempt to put the roof on. This is supposed to be broken off. No. The box is lying to you. It's supposed to look like this and mine is looking like this. I never want to make another gingerbread house. Get it. I'm looking right at the picture. This is so bad. I think it's safe to say that I can't make a living making gingerbread houses. 
I know everything takes practice, but I don't want to do this anymore. This is torture. Okay, so now I'm gonna decorate it. They gave us gumdrop and balls. We're gonna add a door. I'm going to then frost this window up here. I'm gonna add the balls. Gumdrop. Okay guys, I finished my gingerbread house. I think it looks absolutely terrible. Come see my gingerbread house. Rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. Seven. What? This is like a solid two. Well, thanks for watching my cooking show. 